What's up, beautiful people? It is your favorite YouTuber and podcaster here, Tina Renee, and you have officially clicked on my first video of 2020. Yay! You guys, we have officially made it through another year. Thumbs up this video if you are super excited about what this upcoming 2020 has in store for you. Thumbs up this video if you are super excited about everything that God is going to do in and through you in this season. Thumbs up this video if you are a new viewer. I would love to have you join the Busy Mom Gang. As we have crossed into our 2020, everyone is talking about 2020 vision. Yes, eyesight, being able to see, having your eyes open to all possibilities. As I sat down to prepare my vision board the lord kindly said to me not only is this year going to be the year of vision this year has to be a year of laser vision laser focus think about the horses when they're running and they have on the blinders you cannot be focused on what's going on on the side of you and you cannot be looking back in the past you have to be focused clearly on what's in front of you what's in store what you are moving towards in the bible it says that we press towards the mark of the high calling forgetting all those things that are behind us i just want to give you guys two points to help you start your 2020 successfully and the first point is to stop stretching yourself so thin yes in order to have laser vision laser focus vision for 2020 you have to stop stretching yourself so thin you cannot do everything focus on who you are and what it is that you want to do and what type of impact you want to have on this world once you understand who you are and what it is you want to do focus wholeheartedly on accomplishing that thing get you a vision board and start writing out the plan and make it super duper clear so that when you look at it, when anybody looks at it, they'll be ready to run knowing that your vision is something of purpose and substance. So think about who it is that you are and what it is you want to do and make that vision, write it out as plainly as you can. Point number two, start with an assessment of the nouns in your life. Nouns, what are they? Persons, places, or things. Think about the people that you associate with. Think about the places that you go. Think about the things that you're doing, the things that you're spending your time on. If these things, if these people, places, or things aren't things that you can see in your future five years from now, don't give them five minutes of your time. It's time that you cut those things off so that you can get the laser vision and the laser focus that you need to smash your goals. When you sit down and you do an assessment of the nouns in your life, you will come to find out that a lot of these people, places, and things that are that you are associated with and that you are connected to are nothing but destiny destroyers. And what that is, is a person, place, or a thing that has been sent across your path to distract you and to take you off of your game so that you cannot achieve what it is that God placed you on this earth to do. Narrow down those destiny destroyers and get rid of them. This could also be a job, you guys. And I hate to say it, but job is just a short acronym for just over broke. Yeah, just over broke. A job is what you're paid to do, but work is what you're made to do. Every time you go to your job, all you're doing is helping your boss build and further their dreams that they manifested, that they brought into the earth. That's all you're doing. Now, I'm not saying be stupid um, and go and quit your job tomorrow, but no, look at it for what it is. Your job is your investor. Use your job, get the checks that you get from your job, but start putting a little bit aside to focus on your dreams, to focus on what it is that you want to do. And then once you get to a place where you've accumulated enough funds set off to the side, you can fire your boss because you don't need them to be your investor anymore. So that's how you have to look at it. A job is what you're paid to do, but work is what you're made to do. So work, how do you know what it is that you've been made or created to do? The only way that you're going to know what it is that you've been created to do is to go back to the manufacturer. The reason I love my iPhone 
is because anytime there's something wrong with it, all I have to do is contact the Apple support system or I'll just go in um, and do a manual reset. That's the same thing. That's the same way it is with our life, guys. When you are still questioning who you are and what it is that you've been created to do, the best way to find that answer is to go back to the manufacturer. Go back to the one who created you. Spend time in his word. Spend time having him pour into you. Spend time knowing um, who he is as a father once you are able to know who he is and he's able to pour into you what it is he needs to pour into you you can always ask him to do a hard reset you guys our life is a sum total of our experiences when you are sick and tired of being sick and tired ask god to hit the reset button you are not stuck in your current situation, you can always reset and start over again. I hope these points and tips helped you guys. I'm looking forward to moving into my 2020. I'm ready to smash it. So continue to rock out with me, continue to come back um, with all of my uploads because I am definitely taking you guys on a journey through 2020. Share it out. I love you guys. Be blessed.